and welcome back and guess what the postman's been how exciting now what's he brought today it's a fairly mixed bag actually let's get through some of the uh, less interesting items now these are these are oh yes you can just see through there these are power connectors these are 2.1 stroke 5.5 millimeter power connectors and uh, let me just uh, unpack one of those so this is what it looks like. It's um, a standard power connector here, so you can plug it into the back of an Arduino, for example. Here's uh, an Arduino Uno clone. That can plug into there. And then the cables, the power supply cables, can just fit into those little tiny holes, which you can probably make out there. And as you push down the lever, it allows the wire to go in, and then you let go, and it clamps it a nice clean circuit. It just makes it easy for um, experimenting with really. That was uh, those, I've got three of those by the way, and we'll see where we got them in a minute. Uh, second thing is this here. Ah, now LED indicator. Yes, I remember this one. Um, I, I, you may have noticed this uh, name thing here, and what this is, this is in fact a power bank, um, but I never know if it's full or not. Um, when I switch it on, there's a little switch on the top here. I never know if it's full, but now by plugging in this power bank monitor, I'm hoping at least it will um, tell me. Let's have a look. And it's upside down, and it says yes, you've got five volts. It came up there, and you're drawing nothing. Correct. Excellent. Well, we'll see how that goes in uh, a future project. Oh, in fact, the uh, the voltage is going up and down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. We'll. Uh, use that in a future project. In the meanwhile that can serve quite happily as my little name marker. Now, talking of power banks, here's a little kit. This is in fact a power bank kit. So if we uh, take out all the bits and pieces from this, that's it, yep. So we can see this is a build your own kit of course. Um, there's a case Still with its protective wrapper on, that's good. A couple of bits and pieces, not quite sure what they are. Uh, not quite sure what that is. In fact, I'm not really quite sure what much of this is. Apart from this one, this is of course the um, the main circuitry and power. So you can imagine there's an LED on here. This is why I bought this, because I wanted to see how much power was remaining this particular one. So I didn't have to rely on this, which I want exclusively, exclusively for that. So this little circuit board LED display shows the power, two outputs. Um, now I think the um, description says one of them is a 2.1 and one's a 1.1. We'll have a look on the eBay site in a minute. If indeed it was eBay, I'll have to double check that. Um, well, in fact, it looks pretty easy to put together actually. There's only a few bits once I've identified them. And if I remember rightly, there was lots of instructions on the website as well. So that's a nice little quick future project. Oh, there's three little screws that I didn't see. Better not lose those. Right, let's have a look at the website then and see where all these items came from. And first up are the DC power connectors that I mentioned, 2.1mm by 5.5mm. Here they are from Banggood.com, which is a huge Chinese company. Now, Banggood also have um, a warehouse in the EU somewhere, not quite sure where, uh, which means you can get your stuff a lot quicker, although the price is then a little bit higher. As it happens at the time of, of recording this, they've actually closed down the EU warehouse for a couple of weeks for some short f sort of um, refurbishment. But anyway, I bought these from the uh, Chinese warehouse, and as you can see, they're 71p each. So I bought three, figured they'd be useful. Um, there's not a lot more to say about them, really. There's a couple of um, pictures there. But uh, all in all, this bit plugs into Arduino or anything else that takes that sort of standard power connection, of course, and allows you to put bare wires in this other end. Oh, bigger picture. Let's have a look at that. There we are. There's a much bigger picture. So there we are. Not a lot to say about that, really. If and when I ever use them, I'll um, post up a little picture of them or something. Right, next up. Right, so here we have the USB charger Dr. Power Bank Mobile Battery Voltage Current Tester. If they could get any more keywords in that title, they probably would have done. Anyway, as you saw, this just plugs into your, your power source, your power bank, 
and it will tell you the voltage and then the current that's being drawn which sounded like a jolly good thing for me to use so that's why I got it um, once again this is all from Banggood and it is £1.61 as you can see at that price you couldn't really say no um, if nothing else <coughs> it will tell you if your power bank is going flat or not and finally here we have the uh, DIY kit the dual USB power bank um, now it says 1 amp 2 amp in the uh, description here now it doesn't come with batteries so obviously not for this price £4.74 I shouldn't think you can buy one of these 18650 batteries um, so uh, we'll have a look at some batteries in a minute um, there's a little bit of a, a problem getting those from abroad sometimes because they are lithium ion and uh, I think the postal services sometimes are reluctant to take them so there we are so it says you've got an input of 5 volts so you plug this into your standard 5 volt phone charger or something like that uh, and it puts back out 5 volt out of the dual USB sockets um, so you've got 1 amp out of 1 port and 2.1 out of the other Oh yes, as it says here, look, no battery, not surprised. So let's see where I have sourced my batteries from. So here's the batteries that um, I ordered and indeed have received. As you can say, I ordered it on the 16th of January. Uh, they've now arrived. I bought two packs of these because that power bank takes four in total. They're standard 18650 rechargeable batteries, 3.5 volts. Now, of course, there is a, a bit of um, a question mark about some of the Far Eastern batteries about A, how safe they are, B, whether what it says on the packet is indeed what it means. For example, it says here, look, it says here, this is only 2,250 milliamps, that's 2.25 amps, milliamp hour, uh, amp hours, but it says it's a longer runtime than all of the cheap batteries labeled 3,000 or 4,000, which is what the Far Eastern branders tend to do so we'll see about that when we finally build it into that project and secondly it's, these are protected which means that they're protected against overcharging or undercharging that is to say running too flat um, which I think given the um, minor question mark over these batteries generally is a jolly good idea the actual USB charger that I got from Banggood does have all that protective uh, circuitry in there but I thought, well, belts and braces, who knows where these batteries might end up in due course. So make sure that they are also protected. One little caveat on that, it does make them a tiny bit taller than they would otherwise be. Um, so let's have a look at the actual batteries as they were supplied and we can then make a judgment. So this is the box that was delivered uh, by Amazon in the UK. Um, trade name of Can Wellum, this battery, um, 3.7 lithium ion, 18650 is the size. Um, it did have, when this came in the, in the box, the uh, package that came with it, um, it did have a big warning sticker of it saying if this is damaged in any way, don't deliver it, etc, etc. So they do take things seriously. Right, inside the box then you get some leaflet and a bit of sponge they are. I have protected them well as you can see and there we have two batteries so I've got two packs of these um, 3.7 volts each although the circuitry on the Banggood charger or power bank will bring that up to 5 volts so 5 volts in 5 volts out all the wizardry within that circuitry all done on that little tiny board this one here which is part of that Banggood circuit but we'll build that up and see how it goes so there we have it that was the post bag for today and uh, let's get on making that project i hope you're finding these videos useful and interesting remember you can leave comments down below and also click that little button that says subscribe okay thanks for watching and see you in the next video